Licks are the DNA of bluegrass banjo. That is, they go together in lots of different ways to help create melodies for tunes and other interest in solos and the like. This video shows a few common licks which can be used over a G chord in a variety of situations. Some of the licks make use of slides which we have seen already. Others use a pull-off which can be a little tricky at first. Here's a close-up of how the pull-off looks. Pulling off from fret 3 to fret 2 on the G or 3rd string. The middle finger of the fretting hand pushes up slightly to flick the string, effectively playing the note with the fretting hand. It can be hard to get these crisp at first, but if you play a lot and have good calluses, you can get them very crisp indeed. Here's the first lick played slowly. And here it is a little faster from a different angle showing a close up of the pull off. I like to put myself on repeat mode when practicing licks like these. Here are a few in a row. Here's the second lick slowly. You can get the detail from the tablature. And here it is a little faster. And a little faster still. And even faster. Here is a lick which serves as a good ending lick. And a little faster. Faster still. Here's a less used one. Check out the right hand pattern by itself first, then have a go at the lick. Here's a few in a row with a sort of easy bar in between. This last lick can be used with the classic G lick from Lesson 21 to go over a G chord to D chord to G chord ending. A little faster. For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginnerbanjo.